Okay, let's create this. It's called a Dutch door um, card. And basically what we're going to do is cut away part of the front of the card. So let's get started with what is in your class kit. You have a, um, a card base and matching envelopes. You can set that envelope aside. You also have a piece of basic white cardstock. This will be for the inside of your card. Uh, black cardstock, a piece of basic white that I have embossed with the, um, let's see what it's called. Here's the embossing folder. This is a very, very cool folder. I mean, look at the texture in that paper. That's so cool. And it's from this line of product in the um, current Stampin' Up! mini catalog. This is called the Fine Art Floral Suite. And the um, embossing folder is called the Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. It's $9, it's on page 33. So we're using that. We're also using paper from this line, which is the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper. And that's what I'm using to cut one of the floral images from. And then um, I'm using the, the dies from this set as well in order to cut that out. So, um, so that's the embossing folder, very cool, and provides some really cool texture on that paper. Then we have a small piece of some designer series paper, some um, white twine, and then two pieces that I cut to make your flower. And the top of your flower may be a little different in color because I am cutting it from the designer series paper. Um, because we are not stamping and this kit doesn't include a stamp set, I needed to um, use the designer series paper to cut an image for you. And um, so what I did was I just took this part from the die set in this in this suite and just went ahead and, and cut some of these flowers right from this designer series paper. So your flower might be a little different in color than the one I'm showing here and it won't matter because this is all uh, basically uh, a black and white and um, craft uh, cardstock design so it won't matter what color your flower is but just so you know yours might be a little bit different color than that and then I cut the stem um, again just using a die from this set and I use some pattern paper because you just don't get the same texture as you do um, and uh, sort of dimension when you're when you have the stamp. So the stamp that goes with this die really provides some uh, nice texture in those leaves. But without being able to stamp, I went and found some designer series paper that I thought would work well. So cut those out for you. All right, so those are all the pieces. And now what I wanna do, um, and then you also have um, a few of these uh, matte black dots that are also from the um, mini current mini catalog. So we're gonna use those for a little bit of decoration. So first thing we wanna do, let's just set these aside for a bit, is we wanna prepare the front of the card. Now, I didn't cut this for you because I really want you to do it and experience it. That's how we learn best, right? Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this, which is called a Dutch um, fold card. And so we're just removing the top part of the front of the card. And interestingly enough, that top piece we remove, we're gonna just flip it to make a mat for the front of the card. Okay, so we're gonna use that piece, but I really wanted you to cut this and so that you would remember how to do it. Now your card already has, it's already scored, so you can go ahead and just fold on that line and um, even use your bone folder if you want to just make that nice and um, flat. And then you can see that crease really well. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to cut this. Now if you have the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer or another type of trimmer that has these blades in here. Most of the newer versions of the blades, they actually, you may not have known this, but there's markings on the blade, on the sides, top and front, a uh, top and bottom, that show you exactly where the blade is cutting. And that's very helpful. Um, so on this card, let's see, which way do we wanna do it? So you can, 
if you don't have a paper trimmer and or you're not comfortable cutting like this with a paper trimmer, you can do old style where you take a ruler and you're going to measure down to two and three quarter inches. Okay, two and three quarter inches. It doesn't exactly have to be that way, but that is how I cut your other papers. So if you want everything to line up, you'll want to go down um, and you can just mark two and three quarters here. Mark it over here, draw your line across and cut it, and, and then cut along this edge, right? That's, that's old style, and sometimes old style is the best style, <laughs> and it works really well. I'm going to just show you how to do it on this trimmer. So I'm going to put my card so that that center crease is right in the um, cutting groove, and then I'm going to put my my cutting, let me just move this down a little bit, make sure this is all in the view of the camera. Okay, so again, let's go over that one more time. I've got the crease of my card right in where the, um, where the blade is gonna cut. And then my blade, I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna bring it all the way down to the two and three quarter mark right here on my trimmer. So my trimmer has the markings right down this edge. So I'm going to, let's make sure I'm cutting the front, yes, cutting the front of the card. Okay, so right here, and I'm gonna cut right down until this side line, I'm trying not to get my head in there too much, lines up with the two and three quarter mark, okay? And then, and then pull it out. And you have now cut away that two and three quarters. Now we can go here, also lining it up at two and three quarters. So two and three quarters. And then we're gonna cut from, and this might have been, you know, this could have been the easier way to do it as well for you. You're gonna cut from here right over until that's that blade, okay, that side marking hits this cut line right there. And then you can actually feel it just pull out. And then you're done. And you've now created this Dutch, um, Dutch gate fold card. So I wanted to show you that so that you could make more of these yourself. <laughs> All right, so there is now the front of our card. We're gonna go ahead and let's just place this inside panel. So this panel is on the inside just um, so you've got a nice clean place to write on and it also adds um, some nice interest on the front of the card with that white um, showing through. It's also fun too, um, if you want, you could even emboss the top part, the part that's showing showing out. I didn't wanna go ahead and emboss any of it because I didn't wanna interfere with where you might be writing because once you emboss this, it's really hard to write on it. Um, but if you wanted, you could run it through, you know, for example, if you were using this embossing folder, you could just run half of your paper, the top half of your paper through your machine and emboss just the top half and leave the bottom um, without any embossing and easy to write on. Okay, let's go ahead and add this into the inside of the card. equal borders all the way around. This card is a little little bit different in size than what we normally make. We normally make one that finishes to be four, four and a quarter by five and a half. This one happens to be four by five and a half. Okay, so it's just a little bit shorter, but it does, um, uh, the envelope is the perfect fit for it. So, but just in case you're wondering if you're measuring anything. All right, so now we have our the base of our card and the inside done. Let's build the outside. So if you if you did cut this pretty close to size, it will fit all of your pieces. Um, so I have them all cut um, to fit perfectly on that that panel that you cut off the front of your card. So let's go ahead and attach these. Oops, get my runner going. There in the corner where I couldn't get it started. And then I'll go ahead and add this. I did make that border pretty tight. So if you did need to trim any down on your black piece, um, if you didn't get that 
front cut off quite at two and three quarter inches um, and you need to cut any off, you can go ahead and just cut that down. And now I'm gonna add this piece. Boy, I sure love that. I think that's such a cool texture. And go ahead and put adhesive on the back of this one and add that to the front. There we go. Okay, so next up, I thought of just adding a little bit of designer series paper here and I wanna, I want to leave a, a little edge, a little border of the craft card just to give another um, layer of dimension, but I just thought that some designer series paper just seemed to make sense um, on here, just to add a little bit more to this card design. So I'm gonna go ahead and it, and I did cut it to fit the full width of your card. So it should go all the way across and if it's a little bit long, you can just go in and trim that extra. All right, so there. Now what, that's, you know, that's a pretty cute card, just like that. And then we're gonna add, this is gonna go on the front like so. And our flower and then a little bit of twine around it. So let's put our flower on and I think, I think I'm gonna put it on with dimensionals. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach my stem to the bottom of the back of the flower and then I can put dimensionals on the whole piece. So let's see, I'll use a glue dot. I can use a glue dot, I got a little extra here, let me pull some of that off. Use a glue dot on the front top of that stem so that it can stick into the um, back bottom of the flower. Pull that off. So see I have that glue dot right there and then just figure out how you want it to look on your flower. I think I'm gonna go like so. And then just kinda stick them together. And I think I want this little stem sort of up front like that. All right, and now I can turn it over and I can put dimensionals on the back of the entire piece. Sometimes that works, works better, even with a little piece there to try and catch. Let's see, one more here, and then I think what I'm gonna do is um, cut a little one of these side pieces and put it across where that stem, just to make sure it's not gonna fall off. Then you can go ahead and remove the backings from your dimensionals. And then add this flower. I think I kinda want it just just a little bit on an angle like that. It, it can be any way you want, straight up and down or on any kind of angle. And then we're gonna attach the twine around this piece before we put it on the front of the card. All right, and I think I'm gonna just do a simple bow right by the stem. So right about there, hang on a minute. And there's, there's different things you can do, different tricks. You can put a little bit of adhesive in the back to, to hold that um, twine where you want it. Um, I also like to do a double knot first when I'm working with twine um, before I try and make my bow. It just kind of keeps things from moving around too much. And once you get your bow started, get those the legs of your bow where you want them, and then hold that center and just pull it tight. Hold that center down nice and tight and pull your legs. And that usually keeps your bow pretty, pretty, um, pretty good, pretty in, in the right spot. So then this is just gonna go on the front of the card and I'm gonna try and keep this border equal. 
So I only want adhesive a little less than halfway um, from the bottom up, a little bit less than halfway. So in fact, I think, yeah, I think I can do that. I think I can do that. <laughs> so go ahead and put some adhesive on the bottom. And then you can go right over top of your ribbon or your twine. Maybe a little extra, just a little extra, just to make sure it's going to stay on there nice. And then, um, let's see, so just try and line up those three borders as best you can. There we go, and place that down. And there you go, there's your, and it's just, oh, see I'm, I did, I went a little bit um, too high on that. So you might wanna watch that and maybe even mark it on your card so that you don't do this. But a lot of the adhesives, the dry adhesives like this will just kinda of roll up like that. Um, and then you can just get rid of it. Cause you definitely don't want it <laughs> staying there or your, your uh, Dutch gatefold uh, card is not gonna open. So. I'll have a little bit more there to clean up. I can do that um, later. But that's that shows you that, um, yeah, we can make those, <laughs> those mistakes. So now we're almost finished. Let's just add just a little bit more um, to this card. Let's see. Um, I'll use just use my scissors. I'm going to go ahead and grab two of the small ones. Let's see. I want... One here, I want one here, and then let's add a large one. No, you know, I think I'm I think I'm gonna stick with all small ones on this one. I'll put a small one right here. Three. I was I was working three. But there you go. There's our finished uh, Dutch gatefold card and um, a, D or a Dutch front door card. I'm not exactly sure what it, it's called, um, but I will put that in the comments so, so that you know what this is called. But I think that turned out really pretty uh, without any stamping, and then you can put your own sentiment on the inside, or you could even put a piece um, right here. You could, um, if, if you don't have stamps, you could run something off the computer and mat it on a piece and put it right there would be really pretty as well or just right in the center of this card. So um, I think that turned out really well for no stamping and just using designer series paper. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you.